Hey guys, welcome back. So today I just want to kind of highlight this current issue that's going on um, that's pretty relevant to this community. So to get to the point, I was just reading this article and it was talking about these proposed changes in the national park system. So it said things like they were looking into adding Wi-Fi and they were looking into adding some other things like food trucks or these mobile vendors around the park and and then some other things like widening the campgrounds or the campsites so they could accommodate bigger vehicles uh, for those types of modern campers I think they use these types of words so yeah so to be perfectly honest um my take was sort of a shock kind of negative shock because I just I don't know I don't think it's the right direction for us to go to be um, you know they use the term modernizing but I think it's more like um, taking away from the parks and it depends on where you stand as in terms of what you think the park should be like do you think the park should be it's kind of this playground for people in which case you would want a lot of infrastructure and things to do or do you think the park should be a place of uh, wilderness preservation which is more you know our mm -hmm. stance and therefore you're sort of more I already think there's too much infrastructure in the parks as it is so I mean and you know some people might think oh no big deal maybe they you know they won't they won't pass that or they won't actually do that but honestly judging by the history they've so, I mean, we've just been adding these types of features, so we're probably not going to take away these features. We're probably going to be adding them. So this probably is the future of our uh, national parks and maybe even national lands. And that's where the concern comes in. Um, I just think it's important to at least make sure that the community, like you guys, know that this is the kind of stuff going on in terms of our public lands so we can all pay attention to it. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so why would they be... Why, um, in the article that I read, they talked about the reasons why, again, one of those things was to modernize the park. They didn't think that was modern enough. I think this report that came out or some of the background for it might have, the, I think the article I said, I read suggested that it came from like a KOA campground report. And so maybe that group of people want more of these modern amenities, but I don't understand how that carries over to our national park system per se um so yeah it was like modernizing but obviously other things that were cited in it uh were also things having to do with um the our sunset's happening right now so the <laughs> light's gonna change on us <laughs> it's a beautiful sunset um yeah we are enjoying nature right now with no amenities <laughs> well few amenities yeah, so they also obviously talk about things like money. So you're going to make more money this way. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what else was in there. Um, I think, oh, it talked about increasing visitors. That was another thing, which I found pretty interesting because I'm of the impression that parks are kind of struggling with too many visitors right now. And if anyone has been to some of the major or, or popular national parks in the U.S. lately, then you'll probably understand my view of, of overcrowdedness in the parks to the point of like taking away from the parks. I mean, even some of the backcountry trails are to the point where they're getting like hiking highways. And that's just not the experience I think that we want our, well, especially our children, um, but anyone to have. I mean, we need places where we can go get wilderness. And honestly, the parks are one of the few places left. We have national forests. And we have wilderness areas within national forests, but otherwise we have parks. And this, the national parks are places where most kids, a lot of kids get their kind of dose of what would be wilderness. And so I think that it needs to be more of a wilderness experience for them. Otherwise, just like that video that I just posted where I talked about that we need to connect with nature or else we're not going to remember it. We're not going to remember not how able to take care of it. Yeah, we not, won't know no. how to take care of it. I mean, you won't have any benchmark in your mind of what it's like if your vision is, uh, yeah, like a, I don't know, like a game or something where you go and you get your, you know, you go to your vendor and you get food and drinks yeah. and you have all your accommodations and you don't have to have any pressures where you're like, okay, like when you camp and you have to figure out 
what what kind of food are you going to make with your you know limited conditions and how are you going to cook it and how do you start a campfire and i think those are important things for kids to experience so yeah we talk about that a lot especially with like yellowstone and stuff if you've ever been there people think that's like some crazy wilderness but they don't realize that used to be everywhere it's like everywhere used to be yellowstone and now all of a sudden it's like this little amusement park that's with a gate and you once you go in then you're in whatever yeah. jurassic park or something and all of a sudden this is wilderness it's like well exactly. that used to be everywhere but you the parks kind of made it so you have to go there in order for you to uh, well, to enjoy yeah, the, it the parks didn't really yeah. fortunately we have the parks to an extent that you know they have kind of it. have mm-hmm. this area otherwise yeah everywhere including the park land would be just strip malls which is what we all want right <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that made me think of this little, there's a, like a meme, a graphic that I've seen that has the world and it just has the animals just more and more enclosed into this little area. Um, and pretty much then it's like a zoo. I forget what it says, but it's pretty catchy because it has yeah. like the whole world was that. And now it's we used to be little... in our little fenced area and then now they're yeah, the right? ones in the fenced area. We were kind of keeping ourselves but protected, but now it's like we've put them. If we keep if we keep the parks growing like this, then there will be no more park and then it will be an amusement park because we have to keep yeah. destroying the park to make these amenities for the park. Well, that's the real so question, that's... even from even from if you want to look at it like a business standpoint, that if you're ruining your asset, which is the are the features, right? Kind of the wilderness features, if they get destroyed, not just like losing wildlife, but even if a park is rocks or archaeological we see in certain places how uh, we get more vandalism and these uh, really important items get destroyed. Uh, You know, heritage and cultural items as well get destroyed. So it's not just the loss of animals, which is bad enough in itself, and the vegetation and all kinds of things can get, I mean, the water can get impacted too. So, I mean, it's not... It's not right to have tons of people in these places anyway. So so anyway, the increasing visitation is probably one that I don't really feel too good about. I think we actually need to go the other direction in the parks. Um, but it's not just that. And, you know, to be honest, another thing that was briefly mentioned in it, which I think is something that is the biggest, like, fear alarm here, is the idea of privatization. So the... the the worry for those of us in this community is this idea of how are we going to be pushing towards privatizing our public lands and that's not something we want i mean we deserve to have some public lands left and and some of us would even argue that a lot of our lands and natural resources should be publicly accessible um that's a privatization versus public Mm -hmm. argument to be had maybe another time, but that is actually the alarming factor in this that I think is really important to consider. Um, Because the way that they would be fulfilling this, they they said, or they proposed, it would be through privatization or using private companies um, to come in and start taking care of these things. But how far does that go? Does that expand then beyond these features eventually? And how much then does that set a baseline where people are now dependent on these types of things and they think that's what parks and public lands are yeah it always comes back to the big question of what is camping which is obviously a whole story on itself because a lot of people think that that's what camping is is being in an rv with wi-fi and food trucks and services all around you so that's kind of what is destroying it is camping so that's what's destroying the park service so that's it's an interesting debate that a lot of times I've even brought it up to people and it's a very touchy subject, oddly enough, that people get really offended about this, like, what is camping? And then there's this like, oh, you're the camping police, like, don't go there. But when you see it in this light of this type of issue that we're bringing up, then you understand that maybe we need to have that discussion again as in terms of what is wilderness, what is camping, and what should our parks and specifically camping in our parks look like? And is there maybe like a ceiling that we need to set on these luxuries? And yeah, I mean, that's something we kind of talk about all the time here on this channel is, you know, having some cap, like having some stuff is great, but if you let it go unregulated and you just, you know, have everything you ever want, then eventually 
you destroy the very thing you love. So anyway, I think that's a good overview for you guys. Um, I will <clears throat> drop the link to the article that I read and maybe even also the memo directly that was proposed. So you guys can see this um, and you can follow it in case you hadn't heard about this already. Uh, I'll put that link below. And um, also, if you guys have, what do you guys think? I'd like to know also what the community here is thinking about this. I mean, is this something you've thought about before? Uh, you know, even if they don't pass it this time, what do you, what do you think about these, this public land issue and this privatization? And let's, let's talk about it. Uh, I think this is important. And also, having said this, if there are any other really important topics that you guys would like us to talk about so that we can bring light to it to the, the community here, um, then let us know. Put the topics down there. Give us an article or something to read so we can, you know, brush up on it. I'd love to, you know, I, I want to keep learning and finding out what's going on out there and keep up to date on this kind of stuff. That's really important. And then, yeah, we can use this as an outlet to share it with the whole community here. So we're all paying attention to this kind of stuff. So, yeah, let us know. And, yeah, and then next time we'll, we'll talk about the next issue, kind of give you our opinion like we did. But also just, you know, it's not just our opinion that matters, but it's just bringing light to the important issue. So, okay, guys, that's it for tonight. We are going to enjoy some of our public lands this evening. We just watched the sunset, kind of. It just happened. And, uh, yeah, and then we're just going to enjoy our evening here under the stars with little amenities. <laughs> no Wi-Fi here. Bye, guys. Bye.